Miss Lynn here at the Sun Prairie Public Library. This month, during the month of February, we're reading picture books to celebrate Black History Month. Today, I've got Lift Your Light a Little Higher, the story of Stephen Bishop, Slave Explorer. This might be someone you've never heard of. It's really cool to learn about people that you've never heard of. New history, new to you. And I wanna point out at the end, this really great author's note that tells us even more about Stephen Bishop, that things that aren't mentioned in the main body of the book, and things about Mammoth Cave, which is where this book is set. So if you check this book out, you'll be able to read all this other information that's at the end of the book. All right, let's get started. Lift Your Light a Little Higher, the story of Stephen Bishop, Slave Explorer, Written by Heather Henson, illustrated by Brian Collier, published by Athenium Books for Young Readers. The past is like a cave sometimes, dim and dusty and full of twisting ways. Not an easy thing to journey down, especially when you're searching out a path that's hardly been lit, a trail that's never been smooth or flat or plain to follow. Don't worry though, I know a few things about leading folks around inside the dark, showing off sights that have never been seen. Stick close to me and you won't get lost. Think you're ready? All right then, here we go. The year is 1840, give or take. The color of my skin is black. The name I'm called is Guide. My home is in Kentucky, 15th state of the union, though I am known beyond this place. I am famous far and wide, across the great ocean itself. Why, even the Queen of England knows who I am, they say. But being known is not the same as being free. No, sir. Famous or not, you will not find my story written down exactly as it happened. Because in 1840, in most states of this young nation, it is against the law to teach me to read and write. What's that? You take a stumble already? You've got a question so soon? Why? Is that what you want to know? Why is it against the law to teach me my letters? Because I am a slave. Because I am the property of a white man. Because I am bought and sold, same as an ox or a mule, bought and sold, along with the land I work. Now, I am law-abiding, I want you to know, but I have a powerful need to learn. And so I do, bit by bit, stroke by stroke, name by name. All the fine folks passing through this place want to leave their mark. So I show them how to candle write a line as sure as ink. And in return, they teach me, sometimes without knowing what's been taught. I learn by sight. And one day when I am ready, I hold the candle up to write my own name there beside the rest. So that when you come to this very spot, 200 years from now, you will see my mark right where I left it, Stephen. And you will have no way of knowing, I'll tell you true, from candle smoke on stone, the color of my skin, black or white. They say a pioneer man discovered this place out track and bare. Of course, he was not the first. There were others here. I've seen the proof myself. I've held a deerskin moccasin in my palm, a thing so old and small makes me ponder those times that came before. It makes me try to figure out what will be left of me besides my name. A lamp, a stick, a pair of boots so rough and worn, you'll wonder at the path I walked to make them so. I did not choose this path, of course, being a slave, but sometimes I like to think this path chose me. My master brought me here as a boy and told me to learn the ways of the cave well enough to lead paying folks around inside the deep. I learned the cave all right. I know the twists and turns, the secrets too. I am the first to lay eyes upon those eyeless fish, those crawdads white as bone, wonders of nature, bound inside their hidden stream. I am the first to cross what even learned men have deemed uncrossable. And never do I fear the dark, no sir. In fact, 
I come to love it best down here, alone and still. The fall of my own step, no other. The sound of my own voice, should I choose to speak. The glow of my own lamp, illuminating what's never been lit. Not since the dawn of time, at least. The beginning of everything. Down here I am guide. A man able to walk before other men, not behind. A man able to school even the brightest scholar. A man able to bring a crowd of folks deep into the belly of the earth and back again, safe and sound. A man, down here, that's what I am. A man, not just a slave. In time, I have a wife whose name I leave for all to see. In time, we have a son. In time, my master says we shall be free, us three. But time is not always a friend, no sir. That's what I found. Time does not wait for us. Time does not wait for much. Why, even deep inside the cave, water will turn to stone in time. No history book can tell exactly how I died or why, but I will say this, I never left the cave. I am here still. My name, my spirit, my story. Maybe not the life you were expecting. Maybe not a tale you've always known. But I warned you when we were starting out. The journey back is dark and winding. And sometimes you've just got to lift your light a little higher. Sometimes you've just got to go beyond what's written down to get to what's been left untold. I hope you enjoyed that one. Join us next time for another book to celebrate Black History Month. Bye.